You can see the AMD Epic 7702 with eight DIMMs, and these are 32 gigabyte DIMMs, runs right around maybe 85, maybe 90 watts idling. And that is with two pretty bumping U.2s in there also. Those are Intel and those are gonna be clocking in at about 10 watts a piece also. So realistically, you're about 60 watts if you just had the two onboard NVMEs and the CPU, and that is actually in performance mode. And when I had it like this, I thought to myself, you know what? Let's do some CPU inference. So today we're gonna to do some CPU inference and I figured the best thing to do would be check out some of the numbers that we were looking at with the DGX Spark. We also got those same numbers recently with the Quad 3090s. And I wanted to fill in the rest of that worksheet with just pure inference with no GPUs attached to the system. And so I've got it fired up over here. We're of course gonna just continue using Olama so that it's consistent with the other tests. Of course, you can find out how to get up and running with things like Llama.C++ and VLL in the guides that this channel's produced. You can learn more about those in the description below. While you're down there, consider hitting like and subscribe. Big shout out and hats off to our channel members. You guys really help me keep this channel operational. So definitely, thank you very much for that. So let's go ahead, get this running. We're gonna set it to verbose mode. So llama run GPT OSS 120B. Now, I've already done it and I'm trying not to spoil it. And you can definitely find the link to the sheet down below. This is gonna be a really fast video. I'm not gonna like go crazy on this, but when I saw this in the performance, I was like, oh, I've gotta make a little something about this. So let's just have it write a short story about a cat that should generate, I don't know, maybe a thousand tokens. It seems like it's typically chomping up to do that. And the speed and performance of this, just take a guess, drop your guess in the comments below. Do you think it's faster or do you think it's slower than the DGX Spark? This, this, AMD Epic, not super recent. Uh, 2018? I think it's 2018. Uh, Timeframe CPU based system. Now, of course, Epic's eight channels. This is the older Epic. Some of the newer ones have 12 channels, but the older ones, eight channels on them. And that does give you about 205 gigabytes per second of max theoretical bandwidth. This rig we put together, of course, this is the quad GPU rig with the 3090s typically running on it. And I really just like this system. It's been a really great system and it's a great baseboard system. And I like the ability to add on a lot of PCIe cards also to this kind of a system and a lot of storage and a lot of additional things. It can really be a pretty killer all-in-one setup. But I wanted to get this number just to look at what the inference performance was like. And you can see we're running about 245 or so on the wattage, it jumps back down to the 80s to 70s pretty quick there as soon as it's done. And definitely seeing 15.75 tokens per second on GPT OSS 120B and 20 prompt processing tokens per second, I threw this in and I was surprised. I was like, oh, DGX Spark, this is interesting. So the 120B with the DGX Spark, according to the LMSYS statistics, got 11.66 decode tokens per second, 94 prompt processing. And certainly it does seem to do a pretty good job of prompt processing. And you can see here, we got 15.5. In another test, I got 36. That's gonna vary kind of by based upon what you're putting into it. You can see here, we got 20. This is of course, non-scientific testing. This is just me showing you what I'm learning, but 15.75 tokens per second is what we got here. So this in all appearances is faster than the DGX Spark on GPT OSS 120B. Now, that changes when you go to the 20B, but in all reality, if you're going to the GPT OSS 20B, as you could have seen from the videos that we did where we did the lowest end AMD and lowest end NVIDIA 16 gigabyte GPUs, both of those absolutely smoked the performance that you would get out of a DGX Spark. So it's of course like I think $379 for one of them to about $430 for the NVIDIA 5060Ti. Those are like way cheaper of course than what you'd be looking at with a Spark. So seeing that kind of number and that kind of performance for a slower model, even though the Spark was faster, did not sway me to think that it was all of a sudden some sort of a better deal. So we got about 21 tokens per second on a GPT OSS 20B on pure CPU inference, and about 50 is what the Spark 
clocked in at. Of course, the Quad 3090s smoked at about 124. If you're looking at Quinn 3, yes, of course, I was running the A3B, so I did think that that was what they were running. I'm not sure still, but I would, of course, run that no matter what. So I think it's accurate to test that because that is what I would run no matter what. The 7702 gets 27.8 tokens per second versus the DGX Sparks 6.2. That's crazy, right? That is crazy. So the DGX Spark 256 gigabytes per second max theoretical 205. This is running 2400 speed RAM. So in all reality, probably 156 would be the max gigabytes per second that I would be able to get out of the system. So possibly there's some stuff that is needing to be optimized on the DGX Spark. I, I will say that it could have that appearance to me. So I would urge you to keep an eye out for that if you were considering that. But Definitely, if you look as we grow up to the Q8, yeah, you can see that 21.79 is still hanging significantly faster than the DGX Sparks 3.5. This is crazy, right? I think it's crazy. And the 7702, of course, we went through the GPT OSSs. Definitely Gemma 3, the DGX Spark, has the edge there. And I look forward to reading you, your explanations for why in the comments below. I think it's because these older models that were dense, it was harder for the processing versus the sparser models that we have now and the MOE models that we have now, which really do actually work pretty well on CPU-based inference. I'm actually really surprised. I'm so surprised that I'm going to do a video on this and also the 7995WX and another system that's just a Ryzen system, totally normal desktop system to see what we can find about performance. Of course, the GPUs on the Quad 3090 actually really stomp at all, but definitely that is a older model. MOEs run really great on CPU. Seemingly a lot of the newer sparser things run really pretty decent on CPU, like GPT OSS 120B runs surprisingly well on CPU. I actually hadn't tried that out before and I'm glad I did because I think that's just slightly interesting. Of course, you can learn more about these systems and of course the GPUs that I talked about and all those in the channel history and also linked in the description below. But I think this is pretty interesting. I thought that was pretty cool. I th wanted to share it with you. And uh, yeah, I look forward to reading what your thoughts are on this. Definitely big shout out again to our channel members. Thank you for everything you do. Everybody who buys me a coffee, all of the Patreons, all of those you can find linked in the description below. And you can also check out the website, digitalspaceport.com, where I've got complete build guides for quad rigs, single rigs, all sorts of rigs, and those broken down by different price budget categories. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will check you out next time. And if you're interested in learning more about running GPT OS 20B, not the 120B, but just the 20B, you can find a great comparison of the 5060 Ti running that and several other benchmarks here and also the AMD 9060 XT both of these budget 16 gigabyte GPUs definitely probably one of the best buys that you could get into for a intro if you're starting out with AI.